is the men's skins next. Jeremy Christian, stand by. Our final battle of match 10 is stacked. But the favorite likely will be in lane six, LA Currents, Ryan Murphy. Backstroke skins to conclude match 10. Diener, Guido, they've been very good, but Guido hasn't been as sharp as we saw him earlier in the season. He had a good 50 yesterday. 22.89, that right on his season best, but boy, this, this becomes a lot tighter on the top four side. You, you, you can't really take it easy here. Even in Ryan Murphy, you've gotta, you've gotta put a pretty good one in here because you've got a wild card now in Dylan Carter, who led the 100 backstroke on the feed at 23.8. So now you have to throw him into the mix. You got Diener, Guido, Russ, and Stewart, so one, two, three, four, five, six swimmers are all in that, well, you got four that all in that 23 low, Bernie, with Guido and Murphy most likely making it to the final four. But then it's gonna be a charge for who those other two swimmers are. This is a good one. This, this is a, unlike the women skins, this one is going to be fun and it is going to be tight. I'm gonna let you call that last 15 meters, that's for sure. All right, here we go. Only four will survive this first round that is stacked from top to bottom. And Carter, Murphy's teammate, was 23-8 on the feet going out in the 100 back, and he finished second to Murphy. Five and six, Coleman, Stewart, and Ress. Really, you're looking at lane six down to one. That's where the race will come to get to the final four. Ryan Murphy's won the backstroke skins twice. Christian Diener's won it once. Who's gonna survive this first round? Murphy looked like a pretty good start out in lane number six, but here comes the rest of the field. Murphy turning first. Now Murphy has to go for it. He, he can't let up too much. The thing is, he's got three great 50s in him. Who is going to join Murphy? It's Murphy, Guido, Diener, Carter. Two from LA, two from London. Uh, you know, that, that's what's so fun about that race, and that's why I said how tight it was going to be. Think about second through seventh. 23, excuse me, third through seven, 23-28 to 23-51. So 23 one hundredths of a second separated three through seven. That's how tight it was to get into the final four. And you had to do it there on that first 50. 22.85. Now, you had to make a charge on that first 50. Nobody could build that one. Maybe a little bit, yeah, Murphy. He's got some gas left, no doubt about it. I think well, as the race goes on, Diener tended to, to get better when he won the skins against Guido a couple of matches ago. You got a minute and 30, so just stay in the water. Bob, a little, you want any water or anything? I'm good. Nice job, man. Pretty you swim at 200 freestyle, none of these guys do. You swim at 200 free, let's go. You warmed up. Right, and, and that's a great point David makes in the fact that, you know, Dylan Carter's a great 200 freestyler. And that's going to help him tremendously here. Somebody like Murphy, who swims a tremendous 200 backstroke. He's also a good freestyler. That's going to help him here. Diener swims a good 200 back. And then Guido just has speed. I mean, that's all he's, I mean, he's just got pure speed. 
The speed band there. I think it's Guido and Murph. That's your pick. I've been pretty good. Final answer. Final answer. And we'll see if it goes down. Diener is in three, Guido in four, Dylan Carter in five, and Ryan Murphy in lane number six. You see Carter trading 261. <laughs> That's gonna go up. Curtis had a big day for LA. Well, Murphy was late coming up, which timed the start perfectly. He was 0 .50 on the reaction time. Diener, Murphy, those two are first to the turn, but don't count out Carter. Look Carter is Carter. going. Carter is going to join Murphy in the final. How about that, L.A.? The current moving with the backstrokers. What a day for Dylan Carter. What a day. And the other two ran out of gas. They were on fumes coming home. And Murphy and Carter, they got a full tank. I mean, they came off the wall like, hello. 23-5, 23-9. Look at Carter. He comes up right at the 15-meter mark. No gas on the left. Plenty left on the right. And just like the women's breaststroke, we got another match for the same, two, same team on the backstroke. Now you're still going with Murphy in the final, or are you going to go with Carter? No, no, I'm going Murphy. I'm going Murphy. I was wrong on Guido. I should have thought about that. You know, if I would have just listened to Marsh, you're good in the 200 free. I should have listened to that, and I would have had it. My own idiotic brain was thinking, Guido, Guido, speed, speed, pick speed. I forget that this is the second after three minutes of the first. And Brian Murphy trying to win the backstroke skins for the third time. Listen in. Water, water. water. Pretty fun when you have teammates battling against one another in the final. Well, you know, big picture again, you found another backstroker to go with Murph. That's the great news for the LA current. You got a double whammy now. He could probably swim a 200 as well, but at least he found another 50 hundred guy. World record holder in the 100 breast. I took King. I'll take the world record holder in the 100 back from Ryan Murphy. What a day, though, for Carter. Good start for both of them. 0 0.52, 0 0.58. Boy, they, both those guys can get off the block in a hurry. But Murphy surging out into the turn, trying to win the skins for the third time this season. And Goodbye. Ryan Murphy, the current going with him, wins it for LA. <laughs> LA wins the skins, but the Cali Condors remain the only unbeaten team. Marks down with Jonty Skinner. Jonty. Jonty. <laughs> Your team undefeated, job done. Move on to the semifinals. Say again? The team, good job. Four races undefeated, ready for the semifinals. Yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, we really didn't expect to be in this position where we won four, four matches, but we'll take it. The kids, kids really stood up and raced the last two days. I mean, I thought after going a match two days ago and came back and 
I asked them, I mean, uh, you, you want to race? And they said, yeah, we didn't come here to lose. So they want to stand up and race, and they did. I mean, a lot of kids went fast to this meet, so 